Hi, my name is Alexandra Chu. Uh, I'm a visual artist working with layered cut paper, and I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia, currently based in the Boston area. So an important thing to know about my practice is that um, nature and, and memory are key inspirations for my work. Um, and to expand on that, um, I grew up in the suburbs of central Virginia, and so there I was immersed in greenery all the time, um, in the forests, in the woods, and so nature is something that was a key part of my childhood growing up. And when I'm outside now, uh, or in nature, I always feel a great sense of peace and calm, and so that is a key part of my work. Um, even as my practice continues to evolve. So for instance, if you look, when you come to the show and um, see some of the pieces, um, while the works are abstract, if you look very closely, um, there are different shapes and forms, and um, you can see whatever you wanna see, but you may, uh, they may remind you or seem familiar. For instance, if you, um, almost kind of referencing, for instance, um, tree branches or tree roots or um, flowers you might have seen while you were on a hike in the mountains. Um, and then in terms of my process, um, I actually started as an oil painter when I was in school. Um, and when af after I graduated, I shifted towards paper, partially from a practical point of view, just because I had limited storage space, um, but I really love working with paper. I found that it's very flexible and, you know, oftentimes you think of paper as being very fragile, um, but there's actually a lot of different textures and thickness and there's so many different kinds of paper. Um, and I love that you can play with it and it's and shape it in so many ways. So that's one of the key things I love about working with paper. So in my current uh, show here at Hillier uh, called Remember Anew, uh, I create pieces that celebrate the life of my late father and also celebrate my healing journey after his recent passing. Um, in the works, you'll see here, um, I, you know, they're all abstract um, and I'm really interested in creating pieces that give physical form to a lot of abstract ideas and feelings, for instance, um, such as hope and joy and wonder and peace. And those are things that all were, from my experience, um, defined my father's life and the time that we spent together. So that's a key component of my pieces when you come to see the show. Oh, and then also um, the pieces, uh, when you come to see the works and you look up close, you may notice that there are lots of physical layers of paper. Um, so there's dimension and they're sculptural. And uh, I think that's, that's definitely an important part of my work. Because um, when you think about the human experience and all the emotions we feel, they're very complex, especially during the healing process. Um, there are lots of ups and downs and lots of highs and lows, and there's just so much complexity and depth. And so when I create these pieces, playing with the physical layers is a way of symbolizing that um, in my work. So I hope that when viewers come to see this show that they find a sense of peace and calm, uh, whether you have recently lost a loved one or are going through a tough life transition or are just having a rough day, I hope that viewers can come here and find a sense of healing and a sense of stillness. And I hope also that viewers just remember to be kind to themselves and to celebrate life and all the small moments, the big moments, and everything in between.
So I have a number of new pieces that I'm still working on in the same series. So uh, I feel like I still have a lot to investigate and unpack and I'm excited to be working on those pieces. Um, but aside from that, I definitely want to continue to uh, push myself and experiment in terms of thinking of scale, thinking of different textures and the level of dimension in the work. Um, so those are things that I plan to continue to play with. And I'm really interested and excited about this current direction and looking forward to seeing what the future holds.